Welcome to the AIM Insight e-training series presented by AIM Sports, providing support and training of your AIM Sports products when and where you want it. This module is discussing configuring MXL conditioned alarms in Race Studio 2. Conditioned alarms is a tool that allows you to set any alarm on your MXL to only warn you when a certain condition is met. A good example of this is when you do not want a low oil pressure warning light if the engine is not running. We can set any or all of the six warning lights on the MXL to activate when the value is above or below a user-defined value and the condition is met. To configure MXL conditioned alarms, we need to open the device configuration function in the Race Studio 2 software. To start, click on the device configuration button. This will open a panel that allows you to select the model of the AIMSports data system you have. We will click on the MXL button. This opens the system manager. Here we need to select the configuration where we want to set the conditioned alarms. In this case, we only have one and it is already selected. We can tell the selected configuration by the yellow highlight. The next step is to select the system configuration tab. This opens a large dialog box that allows us to configure many things on the MXL, but we are going to concentrate on these three sections. The first section is where we turn on the ability to condition alarms as well as what that condition will be. So first we will select the condition enabling checked alarms checkbox. The function is now enabled. Let's take a look at how the channel selection pull down menu works. Click the open button. This opens a list of all of the channels that are enabled in your data system. In this case I will just select the RPM channel called Z4M. RPM. Now, as you can see, the RPM channel is our condition that must be met and the RPM value must be greater than 800 RPM for that condition to be met. Now, in these two areas, we can set what channels we want to alarm on all six lights, their threshold for alarming, and if they are conditioned or not. Here, on alarm number two, it is currently set for alarming when the air temperature is greater than 100 degrees and is not conditional on the RPM being greater than our 800 RPM. I am going to change this alarm. First I will click the open button to change the channel. This opens a list of all of the channels that are available to set an alarm for. Let's select the radiator pressure channel. Now I have set the channel I want and the next step is to set if the alarm will activate at a greater than or less than threshold value that is set. Right now it is set at the greater than and we want to change it to less than. The greater than less than selection is simply a toggle, so I will change this by clicking the greater than toggle button. As you can see, it is now set to less than and the color has changed. Greater than is red and less than is green. Now I just need to change the threshold value to what the value we want the radiator pressure light to alarm if the pressure drops below. So we just select or highlight the current value and then type in 10. And finally, we need to turn the conditioned alarm on for the radiator pressure channel. As you can see, off is red, and when I click it to turn it on, it will be green. So the way that you can read the conditioned alarm setting for alarm number two is, the alarm will activate if the RPM is greater than 800 RPM, and the radiator pressure is less than 10 PSI. MXL conditioned alarms are desirable for many users that do not want alarm lights on when they are not needed. No need to know your oil pressure is low or your radiator pressure is low if the engine is not running. As you can see, conditioned alarms for your MXL are easy to configure, but don't forget the final step. Once you have them all set up, you need to remember to connect your PC to your MXL and transmit the configuration to complete the process. For more AIM Insight e-training content and information about upcoming on-site training seminars, visit www.aimsports.com forward slash support, your source for support and training of AIM Sports products when and where you want it.